How are you guys? Welcome back to the Man Cave with Big Kev. Today I'm going to go over my mess kit. Uh, this stays in my buggy up bag and um, as you can see it's just in a canteen pouch. An old military canteen pouch. Uh, fits very well. Very well indeed. I'm very happy with the fit. Uh, keeps it nice and compact and all together. So just go over the pouch. Uh, basically, it's just got a little pocket there. I might stick a little big lighter in there at some stage. And it's got the Alice clips. These metal Alice clips are really good. Uh, they really secure your gear to your pack. And um, it's just old school, uh, tough as nails. All right, let's get uh, into this one. This is my cooker. This is what they call a hexi cooker, or a hexi stove. That just opens out. And then you got these little square hexi tablets that you can break into four. Stowed in the bag there. And uh, with this here, it's really good because you can you can put it at different levels. So you can sit a can on there. Uh, wouldn't probably recommend putting cans on there these days. In the old days they were just tin. These days they are tin, uh, but they've got like a plastic or rubber lining in them, I don't know, to stop them from corroding and ruining the food and keeping it uh, longer lasting. So wouldn't recommend putting a can on it these days, but uh, you, if you do have a smaller pot or a cup, you can uh, you can just fold it in like that, so you got plenty of options. And the tablet just sits in there. You light it up. It's got ventilation underneath, and it's always good to get a bit of WD-40 and put it on the uh, the pivot points. That just keeps them lubricated um, and prevents them from rusting. This one's a little bit corroded because only just really opened this up the other day i've had it sitting here for ages it's brand new and um yeah it's just corroded there a little bit in that pivot point on that rivet so uh i oil oiled those up it just keeps it free moving and it takes up very little space and of course you can just put wood on there as well and just burn wood uh, if you run out of blocks There we go. Okay, the canteen, uh, sorry, the uh, the mess kit. Just undo, uh, undo the domes. My knife, fork and spoon. You don't have to go out and spend fancy amount of dollars on these Swiss Army sporks or anything uh, super duper. Uh, I personally like to have three separate items instead of having a, a spoon and a fork on the one thing that flip out like a, a Swiss Army knife um, and using, they don't actually come with a knife I don't think. So this is just a real basic $4 job. We had these when we were kids and these are bomb proof. You're not going to destroy these. They're really strong, hardy. Yeah, you're not going to go wrong with those. Um, actually, behind me, I did get... Oh, no. It's all gone horribly wrong. An Eaton tool. Uh, from ID Works, CRKT, Inspired Design Works. Okay, uh, as you can see it's got a little carabiner clip there, it's got a bottle opener, and it's got a couple of different sized um, spanner things on there, and yeah it's alright, get your finger in there, you can scoop your food out, you can probably stab a sausage with that, but 
Oh, tastes like metal. Horrible. What metal are they saying that is? Stainless steel? I don't know. That's horrible. Oh, and it lingers too. There's no way I'll be eating off that. Okay. Dixie set. And the mug that the bottle nestles in. Now I've got two of these, so I've got, um, I don't know if I've got two of these or not. Might just have a bottle in the other one. I think I do. If I've got two of these, that's a bargain. So he just folds back like that. Get that in there. If you can, it's a little bit tricky. And hmm. Tim. There you go. Okay, and uh, look, I've got to measure that. Actually, does it have the measurement there? No, it's just got the army number on there, 1981. I was born that year, there you go. It doesn't have markers on it. But I would hazard a guess that that there is more than 500 mil because the bottles are a litre and that's just over half of the size of the bottle. So I will measure that one day. Mess kit. This is my Dixie set. So you get your two sizes. Uh, dishwashing liquid and cooking oil. Scotch Bright and some baking paper. Um, not too sure if it's these ones or the aluminium ones, but food can get very sticky in in this sort of stuff, uh, especially like soups and that. Uh, you're not gonna probably use one of these for soups, but on a low heat, keep your soups just so they simmer, not so you're boiling the ass off them and they stick to the bottom. Uh, but for things like sausages and eggs, these are great just to put in there and um, stop it from sticking. So you can actually flip your eggs and not mash your sausages. So you've got the two sizes and with your cooker. There you go. And as you can see, the profile there the flame isn't too far from the bottom, so you're gonna get maximum contact with your flame um, and it's gonna start cooking pretty quick. Okay, hygiene, very, very important. Scarab pad and dishwashing liquid, don't ever forget it. Uh, the, the last thing you need poorly cleaned equipment, you go and cook something up the next day, you've still got rotten food in there from the day before, you get sick, you're in the middle of nowhere, you've had it. So no one's out there to help you, and if you can't help yourself, you're pretty much screwed. So always make sure that you give it a good clean. Uh, not only that, to get the soot and everything off there as well, these have been used and some of it is quite black. And you hear about people blacking their equipment and say, oh yeah, it's used and you know, it's blackened and whatnot. But if you don't clean it, it's just going to corrode. All those little particles of, of, um, of soot and that are gonna hold water and it's just gonna rust your gear. Um, it is stainless steel, but stainless steel will get rust on it uh, in some cases, so. Just be very mindful, keep it very clean and hygienic, and you're, you're gonna be right as rain. So uh, that's great for obviously boiling a lot of water. Um, we'll go over water purification in another video. 
Uh, but that's pretty much it, guys. That's that's my mess kit. That just sits in my bag. Um, when I go over my bugger bag, I will let you all know why, uh, the way I configured it and all that sort of stuff. So these live in my bag, but they're still more like compatible for a good reason. So that's it, folks. I'm going to pack all this stuff up. And until the next video, see you later. Uh, before I go, though, hit the subscribe button if you found any of this helpful. Um, leave a comment. Uh, if you've got any tips, leave a comment. I'm always up for them. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks, guys. See you later. I almost forgot. Once it's all packed up, the last thing you need is a noisy kit. No rattling around. Everything in there is nice and tight and fits well.